for the CBS and Channel 11 show, Bridget Loves Bernie, establishes pretty much that Bridget does love Bernie. The question to be resolved this season is whether the audience is going to love Bridget Loves Bernie. That uh, if physical beauty has anything to do with it, I suppose they've got a good head start. We'd like you to meet the principal characters of Bridget Loves Bernie, Meredith Baxter, who plays the part of Bridget, of course, and David Bernie, who is the object of her love, and he plays Bernie. Now, I know a lot of people connected with the show are saying this is not another Abe's Irish Rose. Oh, oh you're going to start with that already. But we're going to leave that out. That is a dated right. one, and probably too many yeah. in the audience really aren't familiar with that primitive, though, very successful play. Well, the people that are familiar with it usually remember it as a very kind of broad vaudeville thing. And this, I think, uh, has a different feel to it altogether. A actually, what I think of is not so much Abe's Irish Rose, but the life of uh, Stiller and Mira, the stand-up comics the uh, attractive young uh, Jewish comedian and the aggressive, very funny and intelligent Irish girl. And I'm wondering whether the writers may not have been inspired by uh, Stiller and Mare as much as Abe's um, Irish Rose. I think this was taken from like the, the personal experiences of, of uh, the creator of the show, Bernie Slade. Was... You'd be surprised how many people have encountered that kind of a mixed and they all think it's situation. Really yeah, yeah, and identify with it. Yeah. Well, it, of course, I think intermarriage uh, is much more commonplace now. Of course, here we have the situation. I thought you were going to take a stand on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to. Uh, I'm for love, you know, under uh, any guise. Terrific. But here you have uh, people of uh, widely divergent uh, religions who are in love with each other. Now, the point is, can you make a whole series, Meredith, can you make a whole series revolve around a single premise? That is that, you know, a young fellow and girl are two uh, different religions and backgrounds. Hopefully that is, that is not the projected premise of the entire series. The, the main story is, just, is the love story between uh, Bridget and Bernie and anything else. The, uh, the ethnic humor involved is sort of just incidental. Like that will, it will uh, add a certain tone to the, to the shows. But like every show will not deal with uh, the religious context. No, I suppose really. Well, there's also a class thing, you know, I mean, there's a money thing. Uh, she's wealthy and I'm not, and uh, as well as a different education. I mean, there are other, other differences besides uh, the religious difference, mm -hmm. uh, which, which could, you know, obviously get, get born. Basically, the two people that are in love and, the, and their families have a, have a difference. Can this rich, attractive girl find happiness with a poor Jewish boy? Sure she can. <laughs> sure she can. <laughs> you, uh, you came out of the soaps. Uh, you were in uh, another CBS popular one, Love is a Many Splendid Thing. Well, I was in the soaps. I prefer to think of, kind of myself as coming out of the, the stage with a, some kind of television background. I'm sorry, I don't mean to, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to dispute. Yeah, I did Love is a Many Splendid Thing for uh, about two years, I guess, while I was uh, also working on the stage in New York. Looking at your background, I see that you've done a lot of very serious stage work. Um, for me, acting is a serious business, so it's all been serious. Yeah, as what look, I mean, you've done a lot of light comedy too. Uh, Miser isn't. Yeah, isn't serious. Done Moliere and uh, sing those, those Irish playwrights. And, uh, <laughs> Moliere. Uh, but also a lot of lot of classical work, which I don't think uh, can hurt. I think it can only help. You know, a lot of people who watch <clears throat> TV shows have become very much of a, a TV buff. You know, everybody they say everybody who has a TV set is basically under the skin a TV critic. But I, I think they'd like to know a lot about the inner workings of it. For instance, how did they pair you two together? Did you audition separately? Did you have to read for the role with a hundred other blonde girls? <coughs> uh, did they see whether your Nordic beauty and blue eyes went well with this, uh, you know, this dark fellow and so forth? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we never met until the day we did the pilot. Yes, we never. Um, I think what the, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Short naps are very good. You know, well, um, CBS had been familiar with David through uh, Loves and Many Splendid Thing, and you did, you did some, some testing. Did you do some of the Well, I tested with, uh, I hate to say this, with some other girls. You brought it up on me. <laughs> no, but I think, I think w what happened was that uh, they were familiar with me, and they also had Meredith under contract. And, uh, but they, they liked to... She's well, shaking her head at you. No, I guess maybe they did. <laughs> <laughs> What does she know about her life? Well, how many, <laughs> how many other girls do you know of who competed for the job? Um, only four who had tested for it. So you had a one out of four chance, which is much... No, I didn't test. You didn't at all? No. You were just awarded it? Um, I well, think they looked at the nice. other four girls and then they just uh, gave it to Meredith. That's great. 
What a what a what a great feeling of confidence because uh, you come across so many very substantial actors, principals who are required to read for parts, you know, extensively. Mm -hmm. Some of whom take it in good stride, and I suppose others feel that it's a little bit beneath them. Well, there's that, and it's, it can also be very tense, you know. It can be a strange kind of thing. It's so, a good thing they didn't go to Louisville uh, to look for look for ladies. They have some of the best ladies in Louisville. You know Louisville, don't there. you? Yeah, I was there. I, <laughs> I was there when I was in the army uh, for for a while. We used to come in. I was with a touring um, song and dance show. We used to come into Louisville and we would play Fort Knox. But they're very pretty girls in that city. I mean, that's not just because we're doing a, an interview there. Um, uh, <laughs> you hear that, folks? This man is a diplomat as well. So we, we're gonna Nothing be very, diplomatic about We're going to be very loyal to you all season long. Although. It is chancy, isn't it, to start a new TV series? You know, many of them start, many of them have great intentions and good casts, and something happens. I don't wish to put that in your mind, but... Oh, I, it's been there. <laughs> are you a philosopher about that, in, in case all does not go um, serenely? Well, I don't know whether I have a philosophy, a philosophy about it, but uh, you sort of have to be prepared for it uh, not to be successful because we are under a lot of we are under a lot of pressure because of the time slot we have, and being compared to some of the other shows that are sort of similar, I guess, in in format. A final question: Do you think that the characters, as they are now written and as you're now portraying them in *Bridget Loves Bernie*, reflect pretty much your own basic personalities? For instance, yours. Um, Fairly much. It's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite close to my own personality. What a darling girl that will be. Uh, well, aside from the fact that, uh, that I'm Irish and not Jewish, um, I would say, yeah, there's a whole kind of New York thing that I try to bring to the character, a kind of edge and a kind of wit, and hopefully that, that works in good combination with Meredith. The so writers, the writers uh, have captured your own spirits pretty well, you think? They're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how nice. See, you're certainly going to decorate the tube. And we're going to look forward to having you all season long on Channel 11 and on CBS. Thank you very much. It's very good of you to stop by and be with us. We have been very pleased to have the principals of Bridget Loves Bernie and their Meredith Baxter, who plays the lovely girl, and David Bernie. And you'll be seeing them on Channel 11 all season long.